Welcome to my channel. My name is Max Fadiev. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Put a like under this video and I'm starting. Agreements and disagreements are generally about your personal thoughts and feelings in relation to something. Phrases like I think or in my opinion make it clear that you are stating an opinion and not a fact. Using these types of phrases helps to create a friendly environment where both people feel that they can talk openly and share their own opinions. Questions like what do you think also helps the other person feel like you are open to a discussion and care about their opinion. Even if you disagree, you can still be polite and respectful. Phrases like I might be wrong but or I'm sorry but I don't agree help to maintain politeness and respect. Differences in thought and opinion don't need to affect your relationship with people. This is especially important in academic and office spaces. Remember, your disagreement or agreement is with the opinion, thought or idea. I say this with due respect, but is a nice way to state a disagreement, especially in a professional or formal setting. Ending a conversation when it starts to become too uncomfortable or when the other person just repeats the same points over and over again is a good idea. It indicates that the person isn't really interested in changing their mind or accepting your different point of view. So, continuing the conversation at this stage is pointless. In this situation you should just agree to disagree and move on. The act of agreeing and disagreeing is part of everyday conversation in any language. While learning the following phrases is important for being able to agree and disagree in English. There is nothing quite as valuable as experiencing these types of conversation in person. Let's learn some simple expression for agreeing and disagreeing. Absolutely, definitely, of course. These words express a strong agreement with another person. Examples. Do you think that eating less meat is better for the environment? Absolutely. Do you believe that hard work is the key to success? Definitely. If I ask her on a date, do you think she'll say yes? Of course. I also think so. When you are in complete agreement with someone, this simple phrase is appropriate. Examples. I think the meeting room is our office needs more chairs. I also think so. We need to study more to prepare for our exam on Monday. I also think so. I agree with you a hundred percent or I agree with you entirely. This is another way to express that you are in complete agreement with someone. 
Examples. Nothing can replace the feeling of reading paper books. I agree with you a hundred percent. I don't think Jeff's plan is going to work. I agree with you entirely. You can say that again. This indicates a very strong agreement. Usually people don't take this phrase literally, word for word, and don't actually repeat what they just said. Examples. We shouldn't worry about things we can't control. You can say that again. Let's focus on the positives instead of the negatives. You can say that again. That's so true. Examples. Helping others always makes me feel better. That's so true. Helping others always makes me feel better too. Reading before bedtime helps me fall asleep better than watching television. That's so true. Reading before bedtime helps me too. I was just going to say that. Examples. The wind is so cold today. I was just going to say that. I love this song. I was just going to say that. You have a point there. Examples. I think recording the class lectures on my phone is easier than trying to write down everything our professor says. You have a point there. I'm going to try doing that too. Maybe we should exercise in the park rather than in the gym, that way we can get some fresh air today. You have a point there. We need some fresh air. Tell me about it. This phrase is considered slang and is not typically used in formal English. Examples. Taking a taxi to work every day costs so much money. Tell me about it. I wish I could buy a house in the countryside and get out of the city for good. Tell me about it. I have no objections. This is perhaps one of the weaker phrases of agreement in English. Usually people say this when they are not really committed to something but see no reason why they should oppose it either. Examples. I think we should buy pink curtains for our study room. I have no objections to this. You can pick whatever color you want. We should take a break for 30 minutes and have a coffee. I have no objections to that plan. I'm ready for a break whenever you are. I beg to differ. This phrase is usually considered a strong, formal and very polite phrase used for disagreements. Examples. Chocolate cake is the best cake. I beg to differ. While chocolate cake is good, coconut cake is the best in my opinion. Cats are better pets than dogs. I beg to differ. I like cats, but in my opinion, dogs are the best. No way! This is an informal way to disagree. There is usually a feeling of surprise and disbelief when using this phrase. Examples. Jeff says that he can memorize everything for a test in just an hour. No way! Kelly says that she can run a mile in five minutes. No way! I think there is a better explanation. Examples. Our profits are down this year because our employees are taking too many coffee breaks. I think there is a better explanation. Maybe profits are down because our new website keeps crashing. I don't think I did well on the test because I'm not very smart. I think there is a better explanation. Maybe you didn't do well on the test because you never went to class. Yes, but this phrase is used when you partially agree with some points but might not be in a complete agreement. Examples. I think we should plant a lot of trees in our front yard. Yes, but we don't really have a lot of space to plant more than 8 trees. We should buy new furniture for our bedroom. Yes, but we don't have the money for new furniture right now. To be honest, I don't agree with that. This is a polite way to disagree with someone. Examples. We should hire more people to get the work done so we don't have to work as hard. To be honest, I don't agree with that. I think we can get the work done ourselves if we just focus. 
Skateboarding is a lot safer than riding a bike. To be honest, I don't agree with that. I know more people who have had skateboarding accidents than bike accidents. That's not always true. That's not entirely true. Examples. Exercise is the best way to maintain your weight. That's not entirely true. You also need to eat a healthy diet. Smart people don't need help from anyone to get their work done. That's not always true. As a matter of fact, I don't think that's correct. This is a more firm but formal way to express your disagreement. Examples. There is no use in learning new things once you are old. As a matter of fact, I don't think that's correct. All people work better in teams. As a matter of fact, I don't think that's correct. You can be serious. This is again an informal way to disagree with someone strongly. It also express disbelief. Examples. I think we should stop printing books because no one reads anymore. You can't be serious. There is no use in saving money. You can't be serious. Agreements and disagreements are a big part of most discussions. Learning some simple ways to agree and disagree in English will help you improve your conversation skills and be able to participate in discussions with native English speakers. My video is coming to an end. We've taken another grammatical structure apart today. I hope you were interested. Good luck, love and patience. All of you. Bye. Bye. Max Fadeyev was with you. See you later.